This video is brought to you by CM Storm, preferred choice of mice, headsets, and mechanical keyboards of Curse Gaming. Visit www.coolermaster-usa.com slash team underscore curse for more details. So this unboxing should be pretty straightforward. Right here we've got ourselves some Phobia cable adapters and whatnots. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to show you what they look like in the packaging because it's really not that interesting or exceptional. And then what I'll be doing after that is I will be showing you what they all look like outside. So I have some special sort of situations going on here where I needed some cables that were a little bit sort of custom made and uh, I needed them for very specific purposes here. Like I've got eight SSDs that are in very, very close quarters here. So I needed some cables that would work a little bit better than the ones that come with the power supply, which typically look a little something like this and are designed for longer runs in between individual drives where I don't have a lot of extra space back here for random cables. So I've got those. Then I've also got some three pin splitters and extenders that I'm gonna be using to plug fans and LED strips into my T-balancer here. So let's get those packages opened and we'll be back in a moment. So rather than emphasize um, the unboxing portion of this, I just wanna show you guys pretty much what the finished product looks like. So these are the SATA ones and overall they look pretty good. I'd say there's a little bit of inconsistency in terms of, hopefully this is even gonna be able to focus, but in terms of where the, uh, see where the sleeving actually goes up to in relation to the wire. And uh, one of them actually came without the heat shrink shrunk so those are still move aroundable. So that was sort of interesting. Um, hold on, let me just, ah, look at that. I have my uh, manual focus on. So that might be part of the issue here right now. There we go. Now you guys can see what I'm talking about. However, the cables are extremely supple and easy to, to bend. So this will be a bit of a look at the horrible, horrible cable management here on the back of my uh, my personal rig. Not a whole lot I can do about it at this point without remaking a whole bunch of custom cables, which I'm not gonna do. But I've got the quad SATA ones here. So plugged from drive to drive to drive to drive and then out to a Molex connector. So that's how I'm able to power all those drives there without, um, well, without running a whole bunch of separate SATA cables. So there you go. Uh, custom cable. Oh yeah, I should probably show the, uh, where'd one of those, where'd one of those fan splitters go? We'll be back in a moment. Ah yes, here's one of those in action. So there it is. So it's just two three pins up to a single three pin, which is going into the T-balancer. So thanks for checking out this unboxing and first look. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.